we've been telling you, this State of the Union address came during a chaotic time, both at home and abroad. The stakes are high. You know this. This was a pivotal speech for the president. So joining me live to talk about what this speech means for us is Mark Smith, the director for the Center for Political Studies at Cedarville University in Ohio. So let's start with the beginning of his speech. The president really came out swinging. He warned Putin has no idea what's coming. He also announced new measures to further isolate Russia, cutting off their largest banks from the international financial system, cutting off access to technology, banning Russian planes from U.S. airspace. So my question to you is, did the president take the right stance, and was he tough enough? I think that he took the right stance. Uh, I think what the world needed to see and what the Ukrainians needed to see was a unified Congress and a unified president. And they saw that. Uh, there was great symbolism. There were splashes of, of yellow and blue throughout the auditorium. There were Ukrainian flags. And of course, having the Ukrainian ambassador pre pre present as well, uh, I think, sent a very clear message. And so, uh, unity certainly was an important part of it. He also clearly defined the conflict as between uh, Putin, who he characterizes as an authoritarian, uh, and versus, of course, the free world. And so, in that sense, I think he did take the right stance. Uh, did he do enough? You know, is it going to be enough to satisfy people? Is it going to be enough to protect Ukraine? Uh, I think that's the question that people are going to continue to ask, especially as we see this conflict uh, continue to unfold in real time. I will say watching the First Lady embrace the Ukraine ambassador and yeah. seeing the, the show of support last night was just so moving. Um, let me ask you, we don't have a lot of time, but the other big topic he tackled was, of course, the economy, inflation at a 40-year high. The president announced new investments in manufacturing to tackle these high prices. Is that going to work? You know, I think it was good for him to, to address it. It's clearly, I think, the most important issue for most Americans right now. They see the effects of inflation every day. But he really does not have that many tools at his disposal. And he sounded an awful lot like Donald Trump, you know, make things in America again, essentially was what he was saying. Is that going to mean trade wars? Is that going to mean more investment that we possibly can't afford? And so I think he was right to address it. I'm not sure he has the right tools at his disposal to really handle it. And Mark, I literally have no time left, but just quickly, do you think that this yep. State of the Union address will help his poll numbers, which are falling? Yeah, I, I don't think so, honestly. I think it's better for D.C. and paid more attention to in Washington, D.C. Uh, and the rest of the country, I'm not sure it will really matter. Mark Smith, Director for the Center for Political Studies at Centerville University, thank you so much for joining us and giving us analysis this morning.